listen to these words that David uses in a prayer that was turned into a song. It's Psalm 55. Um, he's talking about his enemies and how they're just ruining his life. And in one sentence, he says, confuse them, Lord, and frustrate their plans. And then later he says, let death stalk my enemies. Let the grave swallow them alive for evil makes its home within them. Here's David, king, man after God's own heart, the Bible tells us. A man who, when you think about the heart of God, you think about David. Here's David writing these songs that were prayers of his that are pretty violent, pretty harsh, maybe a little mean, where he is actually asking God to kill his enemies. And sometimes the, the confusion or the conflict can be, how do we pray against our enemies knowing that our God loves our enemies? I mean, how, how do we ask a loving, gracious, merciful God to stalk our enemies and pull them down to the grave? Or in one other verse, uh, David says, let the teeth of my enemy crumble in his mouth. These are, these are not prayers for mercy and love and grace for an enemy. These are prayers of destruction for an enemy. And it can be hard to read these and justify or sync those up with the heart of God sometimes. But I think what I'm learning from these prayers of David as he prays violently against his enemies, one of the lessons I'm learning is that you have to, you need to be real with God you ever know, uh, ever been with somebody and they're praying and uh, they, they kind of switch into King James Version and you know how they talk on the weekend, but all of a sudden uh, they're talking so pretty and flowery and holy and uh, they're trying to pretty everything up to, to get to God. And those, are, those are not real prayers. Those are trying to impress men. Those are, those are words trying to impress the people that are listening. And if you're ever, ever going to learn what it means to truly follow God, to be one of his disciples, one of the things you have to do is be real with him and not feel like you have to pretty things up, not feel like you have to clean things up, not feel like you have to hide what you're really thinking or really feeling from our God, as if you could, as if you could hide anything about yourself from the one who the Bible says created you and knitted you together in your womb. He knows you and he knows what's really going on in your heart and he knows what's really going on in your mind. And so I don't think there's any need for us to pretend that we're not angry when we're angry or to pretend that we're not sad when we're sad. We feel like sometimes we have to protect God from our feelings or maybe protect God from our reality. And the truth is, all that does is just put distance between you and God. He wants us to be real with him and tell him what's on our hearts and what's on our minds. Earlier in Psalm 55, before David asked that God would kill his enemies, listen to his cry. He says, my heart is pounding in my chest the terror of death assaults me, fear and trembling overwhelm me, and I can't stop shaking. Oh, that I had wings like a dove, and then I would fly away and I would rest. I would fly far away to the quiet of the wilderness. So before David is even asking God to destroy and confuse his enemies, he's letting God know, I'm a mess. My heart is beating so hard out of my chest. I'm so terrorized by what's going on. I want to just change into a dove and fly away. There's very real emotions, very raw emotions in these songs that David writes. And I think that's one of the things that makes David a man after God's own heart. He was real with God. He didn't try to hide anything from him. He gave God everything that was on his heart, whether it was terror and fear and shaking, or frustration and anger and wrath. He let God know exactly what was on his heart and it was a therapeutic cleansing prayer for David to express all these things to God, to give them to God and just let God handle them. So today, when you're praying and talking to God, 
please don't feel like you have to clean it up or pretty it up or make it sound like King James Bible. You just be you. God loves you exactly like you are. He knows what's in your heart. And when you share that with him, he really, truly does help. He comes to your aid. He comes to your rescue. He might not make the teeth of your enemy crumble in their mouth, but you'll feel better about it. And you'll know where you stand with God, which is ultimately what makes you a man after God's own heart. See you later.